Oklahoma rattled, shaken by six quakes just today. The largest in all of these was a 3.4, and that was in Enid. Right now, Crescent's High School is working to recover from all that shaking, and that includes new metal supports. KOCO's Patty Santos is live in Crescent with a look inside the repairs. Patty? Yeah, I'm going to show you this is the exterior of the gym that has been damaged. This is a piece of the brick from the outside. Crews have actually lined all of the bricks up as they work to rebuild this wall. We're inside a 1950 structure that was damaged by an earthquake. Repairs are in full swing to remove two buckling walls damaged by an earthquake. It's been a good learning experience, I guess, for everyone. Crescent School Superintendent Mickey Hart is standing in what used to be his office, now covered in dust. The good news is they're covered. Once we get past our deductible, the insurance does take care of it, but I think it's going to be about a $400,000 repair. But that may not be the case for all schools in Oklahoma. There are things to cut out of your budget and things not to. And I think for many schools, earthquake coverage is very critical. For those schools that think they have insurance, read those policies closely. The main thing is to know if the coverage is only for natural earth movement. Uh, if there is any limitation or exclusion for uh, construction, mining, oil and gas exploration, that type of activity. Back live out here, there were other buildings that also suffered minor damage here at the school, but that is not covered by insurance. So really, the district is going to have to cover the cost for those repairs. We're live outside Crescent High School. Patty Santos, KOCO 5 News. Okay, Patty, thank you. 15000 that's the bond for a more teen charged with rape. The 